All right, you guys. We are talking about a different function today, and that function is called an absolute value function. And I would like you to notice a few variables in this equation. We have a, h, and k, and those are going to do some things that you're going to see over and over and over again with different functions. So our goal is to first understand the parent function, parent function absolute value, and then start showing you a, h, and k. And they're really not too bad after you've seen it a few times. So, so let's get it through us once here. Um, this first part says the most basic absolute function is a piecewise function given by the following rule. Right? So what it says is, hey, for some reason, an absolute function is, is two lines. And, and we're about to see that. We're relating what we just did to an absolute function where it, it acts a certain way if x is greater than or equal to 0. And it acts a different way right? if x is less than 0. And let's look at that. Well, down here if I'm making a table, negative 3 turns into 3, negative 2 turns into 2, negative 1 turns into 1, and 0 stays the same. And on the other side, 1 stays 1, 2 stays 2. So we see an equation where on, if I plot those points, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, x and y are the same. But as I come down here, y is the opposite value of x. As I plug in negatives, y is positive. I'm going to go ahead and connect that. We can see the base function of an absolute value, a V-shaped graph. All right, <clears throat> the vertex of the absolute value right here, this is the vertex. It's a single point on the graph that both rays have in common. So here's a ray, there's a ray, and it's a single point on the graph. Where I identify this vertex, we can see it is at 0, 0, and we are already down a page. All right, let's hit the next page. All right, <clears throat> so let us see what happens. As I come over here, the domain of that, if you'll notice, uh, it went like this, right, at 0, 0, something like that. I'm missing a little bit, but my domain was all real numbers. It forever went left and right. But my range, right, it is different. It's 0 up. The next one says find all the values of the function where it's increasing and decreasing. Well, I'm going to show you right here. The x value is that it's decreasing is from negative infinity to 0. And increasing is when it's going up, right? From 0 to positive infinity. We're going to say that. So we're going to say increasing. So increasing. I'll move my hand out of your way. Is x is less than or equal to 0. Oh, I'm sorry, x is greater than or equal to 0. And it was decreasing at x is less than or equal to 0. All right. Now, down here we've made some changes. All right. Let me see if I can get this thing to zoom in maybe a little bit better. So, the graph of each absolute value function with respect to the parent function f of x. And um, you can kind of see this one, but I want to show you something. If, if we deal with, and let me write it, g of x equals, and I'm going to say a, which has not changed, x minus h plus k. And in this situation, they have this. They have 1, x plus 3, and then minus 5. So we can see the formula they gave us to start off with on the first page, and we have a, h, and k. Well, if you see that symbol, that means h is always the opposite of what you see here. h is negative 3, and k is always the same, so k is negative 5. And I want to show you something about this graph. There's our parent graph, and watch. The new graph is 3 to the left, 
and 5 down. So technically, however much I moved left and right is H, and however much I move up and down is K. All right, new page. <coughs> Let's take a look. I'm going to show you this guy right here, and then I'll show you what it means. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write this one more time. All right, I could write, and then we'll go ahead and use the graph. Um, so g of x will write equals, I'm going to leave the x out, or a out, x minus h plus k, and then I'm going to write the other one with h is x minus 4 plus 2. So in this situation, I mean, that means the op opposite. There's a negative in front of that h, which makes all of it, this is always the opposite value of h. So h is 4. Um, k has a positive, so it is what you see. k is 2. We would expect this, well, to go 2 up, because k moves you up and down, and 4 right, because h moves you left and right. Let's see if that's what happens. All right, if I plug in a negative 5, Negative 5 minus 4 is negative 9. Positive 9 because the absolute value plus 2 is 11. Let's try this one. Um, negative 3, negative 7. Positive 7, 9. 7. Uh, 6. And then this one is negative 3, absolute value. Five. Positive 3, absolute value, what is that? Um, negative 1, 1, 3. 5, we've got 1, also a 3. Uh-oh, so here we go. Let's see how this plots. Negative 5, 11 doesn't fit, but negative 3, 9 fits somewhere around here. Negative 1, 7 fits somewhere around here. 0, 6 fits right there, 1, 5 fits, um, we got 3, 3, and 5, 3, which would lead me to believe that if I go to 4, I'm going to get my absolute value right there, and if I connect these, let's see if our, our guess is right about the vertex that used to be here, we're guessing that it went over 4, and it did, 2, 4, and up 2. That was our guess, over 4 and up 2. So, how did this graph relate all right, to the parent function? It was right 4, based on this number right here, and up 2. In general, oh, well, let's do it. H, all right is a positive h moves you right although it looks different because of this formula it's always the opposite of what you think a negative h moves you left i'm going to give you an example of a positive h i'm going to go x minus three is h equals three i'm going to go over here and say x plus three is h equals negative three because it's confusing when you look at the formula that means do the opposite of what you think and I'm going to come over here and say K, positive is up, negative is down. All right. So if we guess on this guy, look, my H value here is the opposite of that. My H is negative 1. My K is the same. My K is 2. So that should be 1 left and 2 up right there. And then it's going to go like this. Promise you something like that is correct. All right. Let's see if they give us one more. If not, we'll pause this and we will be done with our H and K. Ooh. Um, yeah, we'll pause with this. We, we will do this on the next one.